there is no option. If the church is the greatest hope of the world, then we have no other option than to make our church great. And I'm looking at some people here, you're champions, and you clean the church. You don't go to the pulpit, but you make sure this place is nice on Sunday morning. That's a champion for Christ. Can I hear you? Amen. may be mundane, but that does not mean that the work is not great. And when you are convinced of the greatness of your work up here, you will be less persuaded to get down there. Amen. Amen. Somebody tweet something. If, you know, if you're in the middle of something important, you're speaking to chi your child and having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them, you will ignore the cell phone call that comes to you. Because what you're doing is a great work. I'm spitting without apology today. You're doing a great work. A great work. Get on this wall. This is where you belong. I implore you. Don't waste your life living for you and you alone. What a miserable, putrid existence. Living for yourself. Living for pleasure. Here's the mystery. Those who live for pleasure will get less pleasure out of life than one who gives their life to God, delays gratification at some time, and the pleasure that they experience in God's timing will be greater. Can I hear an amen? Amen. your objective, you must ignore the noise. Now listen to me. Well, I'm going to close one last quote. They did a study recently came out, and everyone has talked about multitasking lately, the ability to multitask, and how important that is in today's world. What they found out is the person who multitasks is not a productive person. Yeah. You must have the ability to have a focused objective and check it off one at a time. Yeah. And can I tell you something? Your focused objective as a Christian needs to be building the wall. Because you don't want to get your mind and attention so diverted and off task that you forget who you are. Got a lot to say, a lot more to say. I'm going to continue this next week. If you have two ears, you should have gotten something out of this message today. Yeah, amen. You didn't receive it today. I tell you what, we offer. James, would you take a second if anyone wants prayer afterwards and stuff? James is a real. Do you have time? Seriously. Okay. Um, but I want to take a minute right now. Some of you are down here. You're not up here. You're, you're, you're down here. Today's your moment. I want you to stand up. Every head bowed. Stand to your feet if you would. Um, 